Welcome to the Test Prep Card channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Maulana Azad National Institute of Technology, Bhopal, that is in Madhya Pradesh. In the video, we are going to discuss the following topics such as a basic overview of the institute, the various courses being offered by the institute in engineering and other discipline, the eligibility and NRI quota for this institute NIT Bhopal Madhya Pradesh the reservations for the NRIs the cut off for the Indian national as well as the NRIs and details regarding scholarship so therefore i would request you if you are going to seek admission perhaps into this institute please do complete this video i will be giving you a lot of information and this is my request that do subscribe to the test prep card channel and watch this video as well as the other videos being uploaded for your information so let us begin this video with a basic overview of the institute that is being discussed which is Maulana Azad National Institute of Technology Bhopal Madhya Pradesh so a basic overview actually relates to the year of establishment of this institute for you to have an idea how old this institute and how reputed is it so let us begin with a basic overview of MANIT Bhopal Madhya Pradesh as I would be referring to this in the rest of the video. So please do complete the video. You will be having a lot of information by the end of this video if you actually watch it carefully and do refer to the document that is prepared by the test prep card for the DASA CIWG category students. Let us begin with this video about MANIT Bhopal. A basic overview includes the year of establishment which has been 1960 so it has been in existence for more than half a century now and it's a public owned institute located in the city of Bhopal which is also the capital of Madhya Pradesh and it is on a huge campus of 650 acres and the ranking for this by NIRF framework which most of you must be knowing which is national institutional ranking framework and it's given a rank of 65 which is good enough rank all over India and further its ranking is 15 in the courses of architecture by the NIRF again for the year 2020 so for architecture it's in the top 15 I can say that the Maulana Azad National Institute of Technology located in Bhopal and there are 49 courses on offer across five streams that we will be discussing in detail and also the cutoffs for each of those streams for the nri cutoff i would request you to actually find the link in the description of this video scholarships offered are various for this manit which we are going to discuss further ahead in this video which are mostly need based scholarship so this is again very much important and the placement rate of this institute in the year 2019 for which the data is available is 84 percent so it's a very great number let me tell you that and it is one amongst the highest amongst all the institutes of technology that we have discussed so far so it is amongst the top placement institutes let me tell you that before we proceed ahead in the video so with regards to eligibility for the various courses that is again very much important and uh, let me tell you that that uh, there is reservation uh, for nri students and uh, they, they that actually varies for each of the streams let me tell you that for each of the streams and uh, you must be knowing what is the eligibility required if you are a non-resident indian but let me first tell you about the the act the actual availability of uh, the NRI seats reservation for the NRI students across various streams on offer for you to have an idea about the diversity of the courses on offer by this institute MANIT. So there are five seats available for the NRI students in the chemical engineering stream while there are 10 seats in the civil engineering stream, 16 for computer science and engineering for the NRI students at MANIT Bhopal, 10 for electrical engineering which is at par with civil engineering and then there is double the number that is more than 20 which is 21 to be precise for the electronics and communication engineering at MANIT and the seats available for the NRI students at MANIT in material science and metallurgical engineering is 5 
and 20 again for a traditional stream like mechanical engineering at the MA and IIT Bhopal and architecture has seven seats reserved for the NRIs as well. So this was all about the NRI quota you can call it and uh, with regards to the courses on offer there are UG PG courses as well as PhD courses at MA and IIT Bhopal for all those who are interested at these different levels. With regards to the UG courses, most of you must be interested in BTEC courses. So you would be writing IIT JE examination. So MA and IIT BTEC admissions is based on JE rank, which I will be telling you further ahead in this video in the cutoff section. And it's followed by JOSSA counseling, JOSAA counseling. And uh, then to the Bachelor of Architecture and Bachelor of uh, Planning programs, marks, scored in the JE main paper too is what actually counts for the UG courses on offer at the MA and IIT Bhopal. While for the PG courses, let me tell you, there is a great diversity available for the postgraduate courses at this institute. And to name a few, MTech program is there in most of the streams on offer and a valid score in GATE is required for that. And obviously you need to have that qualifying degree, which is a bachelor's in technology. MA NIT MBA admission is based upon the marks which are scored in CAT or G MAT examination. And then the admission to MCA program is based on the marks scored in the NIMCET. Then there are PhD courses as I told you at the start. The candidates can apply admissions to the PhD courses based on the marks scored in the previous qualifying examinations. So let us move ahead and have a look at the required entrance examination for the same courses that I have just described. Let me tell you about the PG courses. There are MTech courses on offer. I told you a valid GATE score is required for that. And uh, relevant discipline from a recognized university is required. 1.79 lakh is the fees for this MTech, which is offered in the streams like engineering materials, structural engineering, thermal engineering and geoinformatics as well. So if you're looking to seek admission for higher studies in these streams, you, MA and IIT Bhopal can be a very good option. Then MCA, which is a PG course being offered. The examination I just told you is NIMCET and Mathematics Stats Business uh, or uh, BE BTEC. So either you need to have a BSc or BCA with the, the subjects I just told Business Statistics or Mathematics or a BE or BTEC with a minimum of 60% aggregate marks, which is for general category or an equivalent CGPA, which can definitely be relaxed for the other categories. 2.58 is the uh, fees for this MCA course. And then uh, a higher fee structure for an MBA course at MA and IIT Bhopal is there, which is 2.83 lakhs. So qualifying exam as just, uh, I just told is GMAT or CAT and MBA is being offered in the various streams such as financial management, then uh, human resource management and marketing management is being offered. And again, just like uh, MCA, there is a minimum qualify, uh, minimum marks aggregate score, which is required in the qualifying bachelor's degree. And for MBA, it's 55%, while for MCA, it was 60% for the general category students that they needed to have. So I hope it's pretty much clear if you are seeking admission to these courses and the required entrance exam for BTEC courses and B, B architecture is obviously the IITJ examination that most of you would be looking forward to and may have already appeared in the February one. So coming to the required cutoff and I would request you to please actually have a look at the required cutoff for the NRI students. I find the link in the description and also you can actually uh, go through the document prepared by test prep card team for the DASA CIWG quota students. Please do have a look at it. All the parents who are watching this video can have a look at this document for the awards. So let us uh, uh, discuss about the required cutoff at the MA and IIT Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. And I would be telling you the required cutoff across the categories that is open category. Then there is a the OBC and SCST categories as well, which will have a different cutoff range uh, from the opening rank round one to the closing rank round six. So that will be the complete range. And let me give you a, a clarification about it. The ranks for the SCST categories and even the OBC categories are found to be uh, much higher required than the general category. But the reason for that is that it's not an all India rank for the OBC SCST categories, but rather 
uh, rank within their own categories which will be stated by me uh, in the uh, upcoming uh, slides so the general category cutoff rank for the bachelor courses let me tell you that is the btech course which is the most sought after at most of the nits through the iit j exams for the cutoff rank required for the various streams let me tell you that one by one for the general category from the opening rank round one to the closing rank round six the first stream is chemical engineering which is 14,762 to 30,000 so whole 15,000 range is there almost for civil engineering it's a 10,000 range from 21,630 to 31,719 in the general category for civil engineering then computer engineering that is computer science and engineering rank range is much lesser because the number of seats are less i have already told you the number of seats for the nri students in this computer science and engineering that you must be most interested in most of you so that the number was for computer science and engineering 16 and let me tell you the cutoff for the general category overall the computer science and engineering uh, rank is uh, 3889 to 6509 so just a range of almost 2500 or so electrical engineering range is 7000 starting from 11000 exactly and up till 18000 so that's for electrical engineering in the general category for bachelor of technology courses at MANIT uh, Bhopal based upon the past experience electronics and communication engineering is 6891 to 12496 material science and metallurgical engineering is 24288 to 41286 so that's a pretty good enough range then further moving ahead let me tell you about the OBC category as well so for BTEC courses at MA and IIT Bhopal, Chemical Engineering 6400 to 10900, Civil Engineering 6930 to 10048, so more or less similar in Chemical Engineering and Civil Engineering range for the OBC category which was not the case for the general category where was the range was much wider for the Chemical Engineering. Coming to Computer Science and Engineering for which there are only 16 seats for the NRA students at the MA and IIT Bhopal. 1465 is the opening rank round one rank range required for obc category up till 2607 within the obc category the ranks i'm telling you it's not the all india rank electrical engineering 4596 to 5985 electronics and communication engineering in the obc category 2937 is the opening rank round one till the closing rank round six which is 4545 Material Science and Metallurgical Engineering, let me tell you that the range is 9500 to 13,699 for the OBC category. Let me tell you fast the SCST category ranks individually as well for the MNIT Bhopal BTEC courses cutoff. 4332 to 6631, beg your pardon, is the chemical engineering range required for SC category scheduled cast. 2,674 to 5,000 almost for the civil engineering and then computer science and engineering for which only 16 seats as stated by me at the start of this video itself the range is 1000 to 1500 then electrical engineering is 27 28 to 3942 for the sc category electronics and communication engineering again 1782 to 3267 within the sc category ranks and last is material science and metallurgical engineering from 5678 up till 8144 and let me go through the st candidates cut off rank fast again at manit opening rank round one for st category chemical engineering 1856 to 2223 that is 2223 612 to 662 very narrow range for civil engineering amongst the st category candidates computer science and engineering uh, 399 to 584 amongst the st category candidates rankings electrical engineering 894 to 1635 and electronics and communication engineering is 979 to 1280 and for material science and metallurgical engineering in the st category ranks uh, 2093 to 2804 let me tell you one thing that these ranges are within their own categories and sometimes the range is very, very narrow as i just stated just a 50 rank range because of the number of seats in that particular stream available may be much lesser or it may be so much sought after that as soon as that ranking starts it is pretty much closed very soon so that could be the reason behind it let me tell you in general so moving ahead one thing needs to be mentioned here that bachelor of architecture ma and iit bhopal cut off uh, for the various categories let me just brief you up from the opening rank round one to closing rank round six 
uh, general category is 740 to 1104 and for the OBC category for the B architecture at MA and ITM specifically referring to 254 to 605 at the OBC category, 182 to 374 for the scheduled cast category and 41 to 173 for the ST category candidates if you are seeking admission in the Bachelor of Architecture at MA and IIT Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. Let me tell you another trend about the cutoff which is very important. 2018, 19 and 23 subsequent years before this exam that you are going to sit in. Uh, the round one um, ranks uh, for the JE main, uh, 5127 was the cutoff rank where it all closed. That is the closing rank of the round six, obviously. Then 2019, it was 6147 and 2020, it was 5708. So it keeps on uh, declining um, and again moving up. So it's a fluctuating trend, let me tell you. That's why I mentioned it. And for the DASA candidates in these UG courses, the cutoff rank, let me tell you, in the round one was 782. So there are not as many rounds for the, uh, for, uh, for the NRI category candidates as compared to the Indians. So let me tell you that. Keep it in mind. DASA category candidates had a cutoff rank in the year 2020 for admissions into the UG course, which is mainly the B. Uh, tech course in the MANIT Bhopal was 782 rank cutoff, right? So this is what you need to keep in mind. Let me just brief you about the scholarships as well at the MANIT Bhopal. Merit come means scholarship for professional and technical courses is there. Post metric scholarship scheme for minorities. So you need to check if you fall in the minority sections maybe within your own state in the country where you are in the country that is India in the particular area that you are registered. So Vikramaditya Yojana is there being offered at MANIT Bhopal. For more information, you can go and check the official website. Then Pratibha Kiran is there and uh, these are two different Vikramaditya Yojana and Pratibha Kiran. Post metric scholarship for students with disabilities and pre-metric scholarship scheme for minorities. So there is for minorities pre-metric as well as post-metric scholarship schemes on offer at MANIT. But the specific schemes that you can actually have a look at is Vikramaditya Yojana and Pratibha Kiran and see whether you are eligible for it or not. So these are the various scholarship schemes. Let me tell you that the National Scholarship Portal Online has a plethora of schemes. You can fall in any of those categories and the annual income limit is specified. You can actually check at the website itself for the MA and IT and you can have a whole detailed manual there uh, uploaded on the website of MA and IT by the officials and it has a list of various schemes by the various ministries like social justice and empowerment, tribal affairs, department of higher education uh, amongst the various central sector schemes that are applicable to MA and IT Bhopal as well. So that is amongst the national scholarship portal online and uh, there are other state specific schemes as well which are applicable to MANIT students. So you can have a look at that detailed uh, manual, I can say, on the official website itself. So just Google it up. And I hope that all the information that I've provided so far in this video has been useful for you if you're preparing for uh, the engineering examinations in the UG courses. And uh, at the end of this video, I would uh, Request you once again for the NRI cutoff, go through the link in the description and also subscribe to the test prep card channel. Have a look at the document prepared for the DASA CIWG category candidates by the test prep card team with so much of an hard work put up there. And by the end of this video, I would like to wish all the best for all those who are going to sit in the examination in 2021 and willing to seek uh, admission in the courses at the various levels at MA and IIT and other NITs in India. So wish you all the best for the examinations and your admission process. And if you have any queries, you can leave in, in the comment section. Please do subscribe to the Test Prep Card channel. And thank you so much for watching the video and keep tuned to the Test Prep Card channel. Thank you.